This is still the weekly wrap up, but we're doing things a little different from now on. We're skipping the intro and getting right into things. So this is how I designed the ceiling for this meeting room. This project is an office building for a farming company that grows alfalfa, hay, wheat, barley. I think they even have a few vineyards too. This building is gonna be the new headquarters for this farming company. So the location is right next to most of their crop fields. The owner has been a great client and he really values good design. So we put a lot of thought into this building. There's a lot of large windows in this building and they bring in natural light to help improve the quality of the workspaces in these offices. What's really cool is almost half the facade is all glass. Now you might think that would be a problem with the sun beating down on those large windows all day, but we took care of it with this really large roof overhang that protects those windows. So in the meeting room, three out of the four walls are all glass at the north, east, and the south. These are nine feet tall, and they're gonna help bring in a lot of that natural daylight. Now the problem with most of the walls being glass in this space is that the acoustics are gonna be a problem. So we have to solve that somehow. There's not a lot of wall surface that's gonna help absorb sound. And with 40 to 50 people in this room at one time, it's gonna get pretty loud in there. So we have to find a way to solve this problem in the ceiling. We designed the ceiling in this space as a vaulted ceiling to mimic the roof slope above it, but also to give more volume to the space. Everyone likes high ceilings, right? Now normally this would create an even bigger problem for sound. Imagine being in a tall space like a church and how much echo you normally hear in there. Now that's also because you have materials like hardwood, stone, marble, things like that. Now we definitely don't want that in this meeting room. So we need to use a different kind of material that's gonna help absorb the sound. I researched this product from Armstrong called Acoustabilt. All right, now I'm not in any way sponsored by this company. It's just a brand that we use a lot to specify our ceilings. But if someone from Armstrong's watching this and you wanna sponsor the channel, go ahead and slide in my DMs. So the cool thing about this product is it's gonna give us the look of a smooth drywall finish, but it's gonna have the sound absorbing properties of something like a regular acoustic tile. You've probably seen these acoustic tiles in other buildings that you've been in, and you probably didn't know that the purpose of these is actually to absorb sound. For the lighting, we're gonna use a suspended linear fixture. We'll suspend these from the vaulted ceiling above and we'll make sure they're all hung at the exact same height so that the light is evenly distributed throughout the whole space. Now the cool feature about these lights is they're what's called a direct indirect fixture. So it means that they throw light up above and down from below. So our nice high vaulted ceiling won't be in the shadows. The whole space will feel higher because we're shooting light up to the top of the ceiling. Now you might see I'm using this program called Inscape. This is so I could see my building in a little more realistic way. This is how I made all those renderings that you saw earlier. The best part about this software is I can see how the lights are gonna look in this space. I can also change the time of day so I can see what the building looks like at night. So this is what our space will look like then. Now this isn't 100% accurate, but it gives us a pretty good idea of what things will look like for now. So around the perimeter of the room, we've added this soffit that's gonna help do a couple different things for us. The first thing is that we can place our mechanical registers in this soffit so that our nice high vaulted ceiling stays clean. The other thing we can do is place some recessed light fixtures in the soffit around the perimeter. And what this is gonna do is make sure there's no dark spots in the corners or at the edges of the room. There was also an idea to install a motorized projection screen in the soffit. This is something that'll retract and come down when the company here has staff meetings and they wanna do presentations on this projector. The problem is we might have to install the projector itself in our vaulted ceiling. And so it'll be hanging down from the ceiling. I, I don't think that's gonna look right. So we might have to rethink this idea. The last part of the ceiling design here is the soffit walls. These go all the way up to the vaulted ceiling above and they give us some extra surface to put some acoustic wall panels on. These are gonna help absorb sound a little bit more just in case the ceiling we picked earlier doesn't do enough. We also took the opportunity with this high wall space to put the company logo up on the wall. 
This will probably be made out of the same material as the acoustic wall panels. The great thing about this is it's gonna give a sense of belonging to the people working here that this is their own special meeting room. I think the use of company branding is a powerful tool and I'm glad we could do it here in a way that's also functional. Hopefully the owner likes this design or at least most of it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this design or if there's anything you'd do differently. But for now, that's gonna do it for this episode of the weekly wrap up. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.